Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I have in my breastfeeding bag, caddy, and all the stuff that I used for breastfeeding. This is actually a great video because I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks that have helped me with breastfeeding. I am posting this after I already went through the whole two week of breastfeeding and everything and I'll share with you like stuff that worked for me and what didn't work for me. So the first thing up is this boppy. Now, again, everybody is different. Everybody does things differently. So don't judge me. I don't judge other people. This is a boppy. I really like this because I still use it today. And my, my son is nine months. I still use it to breastfeed him. I know that people just normally, some people just hold their baby. They don't even use this. This is really comfortable for me. And this was really comfortable for me when my son was a newborn. But also make sure you have extra pillows because that really helped to prop me up and to make sure that I don't really get any like shoulder or back pain. I still had some shoulder and back pain, but the boppy is so helpful for me and I still use it. That's just me. I know that everybody is the same. I'm 5'1". I'm really tiny. It could be really difficult to hold my child and I want to just make sure that I have really good posture. All right, so let's dive in to the basket and I also have this diaper bag that my in-laws got me will go through what's inside this as well so I do have just it's a little mess but this is a heating pad really great for your back so I do have two separate things you might think that's like really high maintenance and too much but it was just easier this way I have my pump and when I first started breastfeeding I had my pump in the basket next to my bed to make sure it's convenient but now I have it separate because it started to become too much I have this breastfeeding sh zipper shirt thing for pumping, a pumping shirt, not breastfeeding. This is so easy for me. I just think it's easier for me than the, the nursing bras and nursing tank tops. I just like this because it holds them in place. There is a trick to do it with the nursing bra, but this is just so much easier for me. Everybody's different. Everybody has their preferences and then the charger is in that. So that's what I have in there. And now currently don't really pump. I just pump a little bit of milk in the morning for my son's a babysitter and for his oatmeal. That's right next to the couch at all times. In the beginning, the pump was next to me in the bed because I really focused on healing staying in bed as much as possible for at least six weeks next item that I have for you guys is the Philip Avent breast pads so these are the one-time use breast pads I use these a lot and I still have a good amount because I had like two boxes of them they really go a long way that it's a hundred count this box I didn't leak that much it depends on your flow of milk but anyway these were super easy useful. I did buy reusable ones. So these are re reusable ones. They're really nice. It comes with this like mesh bag. The only thing that I was because I really like to be more sustainable in my life. The only thing that I would complain about these, even with the nursing bra tank top, they kept moving. So I was getting frustrated a little bit with these. So that is like the only downside uh, for me at least for these reusable pads. They're like all over the place in the caddy. So that's the only con I would say for them. I did try to use them as much as possible. Sometimes it was just easier to have these because they stick right on. And you don't have to worry about it the whole day especially in the first two week newborn phase there's a lot going on I don't really need to be focusing on that I have two items here the Hakka and the milk saver that both have they're both a different style but have the same use milk savers or whatever you want to call these to catch your excess milk I have the Hakka and I have the milk saver now there is so many like positive reviews of the Hakka but for me the Hakka really hurt my boobs in the beginning like they're really tender and stuff and the Hakka really hurt and I really it didn't really work for me but the milk saver really worked for me really well and it was just so easy the Hakka can be like really awkward and like you can't necessarily I mean you can walk around with it because it like sucks onto your boob but it's just awkward where the milk saver it comes with this like little thing I was able to just put it into the nursing bra or a tank top whatever and leave it there while it catched any extra milk while Leo was breastfeeding and it was so much easier for me it's a per personal preference but that's what I used I used the milk saver I'll leave down them both down below it just depends on what your preference is but moving on what I have next in here is these pump bags that the box is like all in shambles 
but these are the milk storage bags that I used from the Avent brand. But if you buy your pump through or if you get your pump through insurance, they should give you pumping bags. But I just got extra since I'm overseas, just in case they didn't have it available at our store here. I live on a military base, so I bought extra and they're actually almost all gone in there. So here is more of my reusable stuff. I have this cooling pad to cool down my boobs. I also have in the freezer there are two frozen pads in the shape like it's a in the shape to form around like your boobs and you just put them in. But I will say like the con about these they cool down really quick. Like they become warm really quick. I have the nose fruit in here. But that's not supposed to be in actually I think I put it in here just to make it easier. That works really well. If you don't have the pack of the smoothies, these are amazing and they last really long. It's two pads, they soothe your nipples so well. And I will be telling you in a moment what I did to prevent having mastitis. A really good routine that I had helping my boobs not feeling sore, not hurting, but let me finish everything else in here. So I do have this newborn onesie in here in case he had a blowout or I just needed it to be close. I have a pack of tissues. I have this nipple shield. So I did use a nipple shield for about five months. It took me a little time to wean off. Now he doesn't use the nipple shield anymore, but he was really comfortable with it and it took me some time to like adjust with it as well. This is a brand new one, but my lactation consultant gave me one and that worked really, really well. So if you're having issues with your baby latching, definitely go see a lactation consultant and see if they could give you one for free. But you could buy these in the store or online. This is the Medela one and this worked really, really well. So if you're having problems with latching, don't lose hope. See if the nipple shield will help you because it really helped me. And I know that's not the case. Some women just can't breastfeed, the baby doesn't flash. There's all different things. You could have lip ties, whatever. I'm not like the guru in it, but anyways. So that is like everything that I have. I have a cup here, I'll explain in a minute why I have that. I have lancets in here, and I have this uh, cotton balls in here, and you will see why in a minute. And I have alcohol swabs, and I have needles. Now before you're like, oh my God, why does she have needles? I went to school for acupuncture. I have my master's degree in acupuncture. Just note that, okay? And then I also had my nursing cover in here but I really didn't need that for being at home. But a nursing cover, the one that I had was really nice. I'll leave everything that I have in here in the description box down below. If you are having breast or breastfeeding issues, like if it's really painful or you're not getting a good flow of milk or you're losing your milk flow, go see an acupuncturist. There is a point and I'm not gonna say it because I don't want anybody accidentally trying this at home because I went to school for acupuncture. I do not recommend anybody doing this at home, but there is the channel, the small intestine channel that goes to your breast. There is this point, it will help with getting your flow to increase. Now there's all different ways. You could get lactation cookies. You could get um, you could get sunflower leching to help with increasing your, your milk. There's all different ways, right? This is just the way that I did it and I would love to help anyone that is struggling go see an acupuncturist tell them that they should know which point to use but say it's the small intestine channel again they should know if they don't know then leave but there is a point because my right side boob was less milk than the left but there was a point at where I was having a little bit of issue of my milk flowing and this helped resolve it but also if you're having a hard time and but be careful because if you do have a good flow of milk you do not want to stimulate this point because then you'll start to get clogged up. But anyway, if you're having an issue with your milk supply, go see an acupuncturist. I'm telling you, this will work wonders for you. Next up is using a cup on your back scapula, like right in the middle of your scapula. You're gonna need your partner to do this for you. Again, the small intestine channel goes 
the pack the pathway goes to your breast this may not make sense to you because it is chinese medicine it took me three years to learn all of this so don't fret if you're like what is she talking about but this you can simply do get yourself a cupping kit i'll leave one down below you take the cupping gun whatever they give you you put it in the middle of your scapula i'll post a picture of the point and where to put it you suck it leave it on there for about five ten minutes let me tell you this is gonna help with relief low milk flow like if your boobs are all clogged up and engorged so this is gonna help with engorgement i was struggling one day really hard i said husband put it here and it gave me so much relief i'm telling you these little things are so helpful and this time of the newborn phase and postpartum. I promise you, I would not give you the tip if it didn't work. So that's why I also have lances in here. That is for that other point to help with milk supply. The last thing that I have for you is to get a thing of olive oil. So this is a breastfeeding tip to help to prevent nipple pain and mastitis and infection and anything in that sort. Because when you're first starting breastfeeding, it hurts like a mother, oh my God. I'm gonna give you these tips take it or leave it. It's just something helpful. That was so helpful for me. It was helpful for my friend who ha was having painful nipple nipples and she was getting, oh, I think mastitis. I'm not entirely sure if she was getting mastitis. Get yourself one of those toiletry bottles. You're gonna fill it up with olive oil. You're gonna get like a muslin cloth or some sort of cloth, right? So the first step is that olive bottle of olive oil. So after you feed your baby, this is after you feed your baby, you're gonna put the olive oil on each nipple, you're gonna kind of like let that dry, okay? This is Copaiba. Copaiba has so many benefits. It's from Young Living. You're gonna make a little bottle, like a little roll-on bottle. I'll link down below the ones that I used. And you're gonna put about 10 to 15 drops of the Copaiba in the bottle, and you're gonna put a diff like a carrier oil in it, like grapeseed oil or something. Then you're gonna put that on your nipple as well okay and this is this copayaba is going to be a godsend for you it's going to be so helpful for nipple pain copayaba has kind of a numbing effect as well to help support that it's amazing oh, amazing oh my god this stuff saved my life i also have this earth mama organic nipple butter and i also as you can see i used it i also applied that as well you don't have to use both but i just wanted to be extra taken care of and then you're going to get your soothies so a lot of steps but it's so easy olive oil copayeva nipple butter soothies baby wants to feed wipe use that wipe specifically wipe off all the olive oil you know your baby's not gonna really want that stuff on their mouth but the copayeva is not harmful for the baby but again everybody has different ways of doing things you're just gonna wipe your nipple feed the baby then repeat so the olive oil wipe it on let it dry a little Copaeva, the roll-on, making the roll-on is so much easier than some nipple butter and soothies. And that is gonna be the best for you. It was amazing, amazing. I could not believe how well it worked for me. I did start to get a little blistery on my right side nipple at one point and within two to three days, just doing the same process, it all healed up. Take that tip or not, take it or leave it, that is up to you. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know down below what was helpful for you in your breastfeeding journey. Did you have a breastfeeding basket? I highly recommend having that right next to you. Just makes things easier or having a cart, whatever. If you like this video, please hit the like button for me and as well, subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly. Bye guys.